hi everyone and welcome to my channel so this is going to be my process video for the for my entry for jazz's uh, challenge of the month for this month of july which is a shirt uh, design challenge first of all i chose uh, this sentence the opportunities are endless and try to convey the diversity and the opportunities of entering into the field of art like as you can see you'll find like art supplies and everything it's in faint pencil because i added this later and ended up tracing it because i wanted everything on a different layer when i did trace this um using adobe illustrator i did a traditional design first because um i'm not using um an, a graphic tablet i'm just using a mouse so i didn't need to do it first here and then scanned it into my computer and did the image trace to vectorize everything on an actual layer. So with that said, I guess we will just skip to the speed paint. Enjoy! So here's the speed paint part of this video. As you can see, I'm just working on editing, adjusting and refining my image trace uh, from the original traditional sketch. In the beginning, I tried doing this on Sai, which is a roaster program, but that was like a totally failed attempt. Like editing and cleaning up the edges was so hard. Uh, it was way easier, however, using vectors, especially that I'm using a mouse, not a graphic tablet or anything. You will see me discovering more and more features as you go on. Like this was my first time using Illustrator and I did watch a couple tutorials, but that was it. Uh, at the beginning, I would just use the anchors and handles, but then it came to came up to a point where I found it impossible to make repeated letters uh, identical the only way i found which is pretty unprofessional i mean i didn't know if there's a professional way to do that or not but i just used the knife tool to cut out the letters i thought were the best looking and then copied that deleted the rest of the same letters and then combined everything to the same objects after editing those in the other posi positions um, after finishing the text adding the art supplies that that I wanted to add came next. You will actually see me tracing the picture this time. So I did this, uh, I did the objects on camera this time. I did it on a different layer so it won't interfere with my other lines. Um, and again, it edited everything out, ensured that it was like proper and everything. Although because the objects were drawn more roughly, I had to work harder on the lines. Uh, I did use the pen tool to replace some a lot of the lines actually. Um, after finalizing the design, I exported it as a PSD file for coloring. Um, I used Paint Tool Sci because I find it easier to color using it than it is on Photoshop. Especially if I'm using a mouse for Photoshop, I find it really hard to blend. While for Sci, I could just use the blur tool for blending. So yeah. Um, this video is actually way longer than I wanted it to be. It's around 30 minutes while I was going for 15 minutes or something. But it sped up fast enough as it is. Like the illustrator part was sped up 45 times and the coloring was sped up 35 times. Um, that's because the coloring was way faster anyways. Later when I was done with the design, I did a short mock-up with the help of a tutorial. By Pixel Moshbit, if this is how it's pronounced. He has a free template for download, but I had to kind of edit it like his had a pocket, but I didn't want one and the dimensions I needed were different. But he goes through the process of creating the mockup. I will put the link in the description. I then opened my design as a smart object and placed it on the shirt mockup. This allowed me to edit the designs file. Um, then once I saved that, the changes will be shown on the shirt as well. I guess I talked long enough, so I'll just leave you to watch the speed paint. Hope you enjoy.
the end of the video, you will just see me trying out a bunch of different colors to check which one goes well with my design without blurring everything together. I did have to add an outer glow effect layer on my text layer to ensure it's easily readable. Um, it looks more of a border than anything, but I think it makes it visible enough. Please forgive the horrible quality of the voiceover for this one. I'm not recording it using a mic or anything. I just use my phone with its default voice recorder program. So you can hear like rustling voices in the background. So sorry for that. Um, also, I keep on forgetting what I'm going to say. So you will find me pausing a lot. But this is my first video. So hope it was fine. Hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe my channel for more similar content. Thank you. Bye.